Thank you so much for coming, guys. Really appreciate it. This is the Central United States Knife Throw uh, Championship and Hawk Championship. Next year, uh, it'll be the World Championship in October. Uh, uh, next year, the Central U.S. Uh, will be in Hawkins, Texas. So, um, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, this is Lord's Day. We'd like to say a prayer before we get started. Father, we ask you to bless our bless this throw. Help us to have good sportsmanship. Forgive us where we failed you, and for. Most all, remember our troops overseas, Father, that they're fighting for us to be able to do the things that we love to do. Forgive us where we failed you. We ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Well, we're in Austin, Texas at South Austin Karate. We throw uh, five distances in, in a normal uh, throw from eight feet, uh, minimums, eight feet, 11 feet, 14 feet, 17 feet, 20 feet, which is uh, International Night Throwers Hall of Fame rules. The average knife thrower, I tell you, they, they're just wonderful people. They come from all over, 32 uh, states here represented, England represented here. Across the pond, I started throwing two years ago uh, on, over in England. Uh, I uh, got onto the internet and realised that there were other people in the world who threw knives. So that's where I came last year to Austin. Is this uh, the mecca of knife throwing? As far as I'm concerned, it is. This is the throw that literally tests you. Um, and this is where, as far as I'm concerned, the champions are here, worldwide. You know, today, just remember where you are and who you represent, and let's listen to this guy so we can get this thing done safely. That's the most important thing. Winning is great, but safe is better. Tommy? I know, I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> no aggression on the range. You miss two knives, you get aggravated, you want to start hurling 90 mile an hour baseballs, you will get one warning. Second warning, you're sitting down. I think we know everything else, but we want to go over that. Listen, good luck to everybody. Let's have a great day of throwing. Right. We've got people that are 80 years old here throwing, and then Rub the Phenomenon, 13 year old guy, he's got the highest score of the day. My dad just brought some knives home and I started throwing. It's unique and not many people do it in Missouri. Only about three people that live in Missouri throw knives. In my backyard, I really don't throw with anybody. I just throw by myself most of the time. So here it's a lot fun. It's more important to have fun than actually win the tournament. So that's why I keep coming back. That round, Ed through 49. Ron, 47. Rudd, 62. Michael Pearl, 58. Right, Rudd, you to me. Rudd's doing it. <laughs> I said about six months ago, I said, well, you give Rudd a couple more years and he'll be beating all of us. And two days later, he beat all of us. <laughs> In a mountain man contest, beat every one of us. <laughs> Even when you're throwing against him, you're pulling for him. That's that's the hard part, you know. Uh, yeah. And I thought for sure, you know, he'd been taking out these guys all morning. I thought, well, I'm next. I feel pretty good because I'm as good as them, so I should be able to beat them. So it's about even since they're older and I'm better, I guess. <laughs> I do stunt work for film and um, got into horses, started doing horse falls, western stuff, gun spinning, knife throwing, and made friends with some of the knife throwers and got pulled into it. People from everywhere that enjoy throwing knives and it's just a big get together. You don't, you never throw your best scores in competition. <laughs> it's, it's probably the most intense competition you'll see. Number 12, number 16, number 18, and number 1. 12 against 16, 18 against 1. You don't want to bounce a knife. You know, that, 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 that gives you enough motivation to pick it up and try again until you stick it. You want to hear that thunk. I love knives. I, I've always loved the thought of throwing a knife for it, the rotating stick. I used to, as a kid, if I had like a jackknife thrown in the dirt and everything, I love the competition, you know, pretty much comp competing against myself. 
from the outside looking in, it may look like a bunch of regnets getting together, throwing knives, but it's nothing like that. Great bunch of people. They will help you out. They'll take you in with open arms. Congrats to this man, too. The, the main thing, honestly, is just social. It's coming, hanging out with people you see maybe two or three times a year, you know, with a common interest. So it's Old Dog wins, you win, Michael and Mike Pearl. It's down to those three. Old Dog, Mike Pearl, and Red Picket. So I'm in the top three. Mm -hmm. Made it to the top three, honey. How far did you get last year? You got in the top five last year? Top 15. Top 15? Very good. So that's quite an improvement. Yeah. Got my new knives. These are the ones I modified yesterday. So basically I'm just testing these out. You should never go to battle without a, with a weapon that you haven't tested first. <laughs> All right. You know how I always tell everybody, well, if you got this hand up here, they won't see you shaking. Well, yeah, yeah, the, the first couple <laughs> rounds, yeah, the first couple rounds. The, the first the round. We're doing that. The first round. <laughs> it, it wasn't me that was shaking, it was the targets that were shaking. My theory is combat throwing. I throw hard on a per for purpose. In the tournament, is every red spot is like an adversary, and I got to take them out one at a time. And if I don't, then I didn't do my job. Rudd, you're going to be throwing against Richard Wesson. Cliff, Bob, or, or have, a Bob have a seat for a minute. The winner of that round will proceed against Mr. Pyle. Right. And they will have to come back and beat him twice. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Wesson, 61, Rudd, 59. Woo. Good job, guys. Rich, the 48, Bob Pyle, 64. Great time. Thank you. That was it. Was great. It was wonderful. Red. Great, great bunch of people. It was great, guys. <laughs> there ain't no way you're gonna be discouraged. I know, huh? No. I just hope I can retire before he is. <laughs> Since the English give us a knife and a tomahawk, it's still the oldest game in town, and it's still being played, right?